PeteTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Pete's Tools, how are we all going today? Now the beautiful day on my side of the planet, I hope you're all well, I hope you're all working on your projects and your shed. Anyway, what am I going on about today guys? Well what I wanted to do was flux screw weld some old manky exhaust pipe like this, but if you've seen any of my other videos, I normally use this big MIG welder here, a 250 amp one. And this machine here guys is still inverted technology, but it's about 10, 15 years old. And if you notice, it's got analog switches here. It's got an analog sort of gauge and an analog gauge. And you can't really tell how many amps and what sort of voltage you're welding with. So that's why I decided to buy this little beastie here. Um, like I say, really, really cheap. But you've got all the alterations in the world and you can see what you're welding and all the rest of it. So I thought maybe welding exhaust pipe with this little beast might be a lot easier than with this big beast. Anyway guys, same as usual, like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below, and let's get into it, eh? <laughs> so guys, as you can see, I've got this manky old bit of bloody exhaust pipe here, you can see it's still got the bloody exhaust pipe hanger from the car on it, someone's tried to weld bits and pieces on it here, so she's pretty ugly, it's got a bit of surface rust in it on it, but it's not too bad actually, I've seen a lot worse, so what we'll do first guys, is I'll just clean it up around the outside, this bit, and the bit I'm trying to join onto it. We'll clean it up with the grinder, and then we'll try and weld the little sucker, eh? <laughs> so what I do here, guys, is just take the corners off, and just take all the rough bits off. So what I'm trying to do is actually butt weld it together. If I was going to do it under the car, I'd try and sleeve it so it's a little bit easier to weld. But anyway, we'll try and butt weld this together, guys. I think this bracket might be a pain in the ass, guys, but anyway, I'll try and leave it on while we do it. Uh, as you can see, it's not that thick wall. She's quite thin in there. And the other side here that we're trying to butt weld to it, it's not that thick either. Like I say, it's got a little bit of rust on it, but nothing too bad. I've, like I say, I've seen a lot worse, and it's going to be a lot more difficult, obviously, if you're trying to do this under a car. First time I tried to flux core exhaust tubing. yeah, Grandma! So I've got a bit of scrap steel here guys, it's 3 or 4 mil, it's still thicker than the exhaust tubing, but what I'll do is I'll just get the welder started on this and just get a little bit of a feel for it before I try burning holes in my exhaust pipe. <laughs> Put the air lead closest to your weld as possible like I normally do, and we'll cook the machine in the guts guys, and like I say, this is quite good because we get all sorts of different adjustments on this, which means I can lower my wire speed really really low and I can lower the power settings as well so we hopefully well hopefully I say hopefully I'm no good at friggin welding anyway but hopefully I don't burn big holes through this exhaust tube here well at the moment we're on about 19 volts so we go back to about 18.8 18.7 I reckon and just get the feel of the uh, torch guys You'll know what I mean once you start doing it. That's why I use a piece of scrap first, because you'll just be able to see whether it's going to burn through or what it's going to do. Another thing I do, guys, if you're flux core welding, take the bloody welding shield off, because you don't need it. You don't need it. There's no gas to shield anything, because the uh, flux core is inside the wire, of course. And another thing, when you're welding pipe, you actually might be able to see what you're doing, whereas if you have this big honking shield over the top of it, you can't see where the end of your wire is. Well, I can't anyway, but I'm a bit sick. You know where it is. <laughs> so like I say, if you just have a bit of a play on a bit of old steel, it also gives you a chance to adjust your welding helmet up so you can see what you're doing. And it just, you know, it just makes life a little bit easier, I think, anyway. Let's turn that up just a fraction, Pete. Maybe up to... 98 amp 
19 volts. Still a bit hot guys. Want to come back down again and get the pink tape. Remember this is a little bit thinner. We'll try and backing it up a little bit more. Yeah, let's try that guys. Yeah. So what we'll do guys is just butt weld it together. But what I'm gonna do guys is just put a tack up here and maybe a tack down there just to hold it so I can start welding around it. Yo, that hurt. <laughs> See it's sparking back here because I haven't got my earth lead up here, but I can't put the earth lead up here until I've got it tacked a little bit. Got it tacked in about three places now, guys. So I'll put my earth lead in here close up so we get some voltage on it. <laughs> Let's give it a crack, Nigel, eh? Too hot, Pete. Back it down a bit. Let's try that. That's better, guys. Still not convinced, guys. Let's have a go from this side. Told you this thing's gonna be a pain in the ass. <laughs> now I got this stupid arm in the way. You see that guys? The stupid arm here. I knew I should have cut it off, but anyway. So what do we end up with with my first attempt, guys? Let's get the old wire brushy onto it and have a look here. Yeah! This friggin' bracket here is a pain in the ass, guys. So this is what we ended up with, guys. What do you reckon? I'll get the grinder and we'll grind it off and we'll see what it looks like. Yeah, Grandma! There we are guys, no big humongous holes, not exactly perfect, but bear in mind this is the first time I've ever tried welding up exhaust pipe, so you know, not too bad. It's got to be a lot better than putting a stupid exhaust bandage on it with all that gunge, that glue shit that you wrap around it, that's what I reckon anyway. 
So, what do you reckon? So, what do you reckon, guys? Yeah! I think if I was to have a few hours playing with this and getting the settings exactly right, I reckon I could be pretty good at that in no time at all. Anyway, if I can do it, you can do it, anyone can do it. Okay, right, guys, now let's see if I can smash my weld off. <laughs> no show and shit show. Tell you what I'll do, guys, if I smash it right on the weld, it should fall apart, right? Still holding on, guys. Can't be that bad. Yeah. So, guys, now you know how useless I am flux screwing exhaust pipe. But you gotta try everything once. I reckon I could get the hang of that, no worries at all. Anyway, guys, like I was saying, this little machine here is a lot better than my big welder because you can dial it up and you can dial it down, especially if you have welding thin metal like exhaust tubing and that sort of stuff. Like I say, just a little bit of practice and we'll be away. If you wanna see a review on this machine, guys, I'll put a link up there for you. And if you'd like to see a review on a plasma cutter, same brand as this, I'll put a link, not that way, you've already done that way. I'll put a link that way for you. Same as usual guys, like the video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, give me some hints and welding some exhaust pipe up if you want in the comments, because it wouldn't take you guys to be a lot better at it than me. Anyway guys, see you next time, bye. PeachTools.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.